Okay, boys. Holy crap. Fort Calvin. Why did the music get all dark? Oh, wow. That is actually so cool. Oh, my God. Fort Sam. That is so cool. Look at them. Oh, this is one of the ones that's completely sealed. Join fight and enlist. So it looks like he went to the military. What in Finch National Park? Wow. Oh. The command center. He went to go to space. That is so cool. Oh, that one doesn't have a bridge. That one does. I wonder if we lost Calvin before we lost Sam. United States Marine Corps. There's nothing but kid stuff on Calvin's. But there's adult stuff on Sam's. Oh, wow. They must have lost Calvin, I bet. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Yeah, that's why it's roped off. And that he never talked about him. Oh, wow. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Yeah. Yeah, look. So she was making... Edie, I guess, made those little... uh Towels um, for the deceased. She was memorial memorializing them. Remember, she was making Lewis a uh, painting off of the wood, just like that. And she was also in the middle of stitching one of these. 50 to 61. But he was barely 11. Barely 11 years old. How I want to remember my brother. By Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Wow. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. What's this? <laughs> Another.
another secret. Wow. Well. <laughs> Holy crap. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. We'll open that just because it looks like I can. Built in. Oh, wow. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Oh, wow. Swan Lake. That doll is creepy as hell. Okay. Oh, wow. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Oh, yeah. Barb Street. <laughs> Looks like she may have been a teenager or a young adult. Oh, wow. That's gross. Nineteen forty four to nineteen sixty. Yep, she was a teenager. Dreadful stories. Barbara Finch. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <coughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas <laughs> Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, my bad. That's, that's my cue. Oh, 
that freaking music. <laughs> Wait, come on. <laughs> Terrorizing everything. Destroy it all. Why the hell would you give me this? Oh god. Blood. What the hell is that thing? And that thing. What the hell? The fuck? No. No. Ugh, that's just so creepy. Hey, what's up with you? What, what, what you want? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, uh. Yeah, you got none on me. I got a crutch, I ain't afraid to use it. What's in here, motherfucker? Oh, son of a bitch! You deserve that. That was deserved. Deserved. No, I don't do good with horror. Why, what's with the skeleton? I mean, come on. Oh, hey, I left the key in there. Okay. Uh, got, a, got a crutch. You son of a... I got a, I got a crutch, motherfucker. I got a crutch. I will beat you. Walter. I can't turn. Quite smashing, seriously. That that's the best you got. Oh. Uh oh. Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Oh, my always wrong. Beat the shit out of him. Just go, bitch. Suck it. That's what you get. Oh, great. So I beat the shit out of him once. Let's go finish the job. I don't like the fact that the pumpkin's just chilling there. 
Oh, come on, man. What? What do you got to get up? Fucking beat your ass. Just, just, fuck back. I'm coming, damn it. Come fucking beat your ass. What the fuck? I'm inside the house. What? Oh, you son of a bitch. Yo, what the fuck? I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Yo, what the fuck? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Seriously? That's the best you got, an eerie tale. That was just creepy. All Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Oh, that's why she's carrying the crutch. Oh, that's just fucked. Okay, but seriously though, out of everything, out of all of that, y'all couldn't clean up the fucking food. I'm sorry, but come on. Y'all could have at least cleaned up the food. Damn, she was a smoker, I just realized that. Y'all couldn't clean up the food. That's just gross. Ugh. Okay, I think I gotta go back. Yep, 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 that's completely sealed. Uh, okay. Time to climb. Fall back in. It is kind of cool. I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Yep. Yep. That make, that makes sense now, actually. That yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. And I can see why she wouldn't have actually told you the truth, too. Yeah, that's creepy. Hmm. All right. Anyways, why the hell did they keep the music box? Um Comment I was gonna say was I thought it was pretty cool that there's a bunch of these like little bitty hidden passages. It's cool. Okay. Where to next? Can't go that way. Okay, so what's over here? Okay, that was Calvin and Sam. We've been in there. That was Sven and Edie. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. That's right. I was like, wait a minute, what's next? I, that's right, we need to go into the basement. I'm kind of curious to what that one is. Why is it so dark? There it goes. 
All right, boys. We'll continue in the next one. Peace. Bye.